object lifetime management is difficult in C++. As weird as it sounds, deleting objects is tricky. Let's have a look today at an idiom called checked delete to make your life easier. It won't solve all deletion problems, but it needs to be known by every single C++ developer. We start with two different classes. One is the deleter and the other is the object. The deleter deletes the object with the pointer. So it just calls delete on the pointer P. And because somebody said that you should always forward declare your objects because otherwise you have so much compile time, object is only forward declared and the pointer to the object is only used so everything looks all right and here the pointer is later deleted. Object itself, however, has something that is a defined destructor. So the destructor here is not the default constructor that is provided by the compiler, but something that is user defined. And here the object uh, itself, also the implementation, we can leave it empty as long as it is user defined. The main code is pretty much straightforward. We have an object pointer P where we just create a new object and afterwards we delete that object by using the delete function of the deleter class. And here we run into an issue. But the main problem here is that this actually compiles. So let's go to the compiler and see what happens. It actually compiles, so we, we get an output of the application, but we also get a warning. And the warning says that the deleting pointer to incomplete type may cause undefined behavior. And it actually is undefined behavior. So let's walk through what happens. At the point where the deleter.cpp gets compiled, it doesn't know how an object looks like. The main issue here is that the object is forward declared. Because of the forward de declaration of this object, we just say to the compiler that some kind of object will exist somewhere in the code, but we don't tell the compiler how it looks like. The deleter then calls delete on something that it doesn't know how it should look like. And if it doesn't know how it looks like, it doesn't know which delete function actually to call, and it just defaults to the standard delete implementation of the compiler. So if we have in the object here a deconstructor, so a delete operation that we have defined ourselves, this will never be called. And this is exactly the bug in this, pro uh, in this program, is that delete object here calls the default destructor of object, but object has a user-defined destructor. And this user-defined destructor never gets called. And even though it's nice that we get this warning of the compiler, which even warns us of, about exactly this bug, do you have a look at all the warnings in your code? I know so many people who don't and they pay the price. The main idea of the solution is to turn this warning into a compilation error so you fail directly. And here's how it could look like. In the check delete, we have a template parameter, which is T, and inside we declare a type. So we have a type def and we declare the type, which we name type must be complete. And this type is a char array and the size of the array, and this is where the magic comes in, is the size of the templated parameter t, or it's at least depending on the size of the templated parameter t. If this size is something, then it returns one, and we have a well-defined array. If it is zero or minus one, as it would be if t is an incomplete type, then the size of this array would be minus one. And you cannot declare an array which has the size of minus one. And that is why this check delete will then turn into a compilation error and will actually warn you earlier of your mistake that you just did. If we switch to the console and try to compile it, we see that it turns into an error which says invalid application of size of to an incomplete type. And this is actually where the error of this lies. And we now get a um, additionally to the warning, we get an error and the code doesn't even compile until we fix the mistake. That is all that I have for you today. I hope you learned something and are now a little bit more comfortable with deleting your objects. Until next time, and as always, enjoy coding.